Welcome back to Who Chose. Today on Who Chose, I'm gonna show you how to prepare these. These are a nutrient and pH adjuster dosing solution that utilize a spirit nip pourer, a 30 mil spirit nip pourer, to remove the barrier to creating your nutrient solutions. And later on in the video, we're going to utilize the pH adjuster for a problem that I'm encountering with the modular hydroponic system behind me. Okay, so I think this idea is going to revolutionize hydroponics. Removing a barrier for preparation of a nutrient solution, that is massive. And if you prepare your stock nutrient solutions like I'm about to show you, you'll never have a barrier to making quick and easy nutrient solutions. So you'll be needing spirit bottles, uh, any size, but I recommend a liter. It'll allow you to mix the quantities that I'm giving you today perfectly. So one liter spirit bottles. Tell me you live in country Queensland without telling me you live in country Queensland. And these, these are 30 mil nip pourers. They are a commercial bar accessory and they allow you to pour an exact 30 mils every pour. When you pour it, this ball comes down after the 30 mils has been poured and blocks the nozzle so that it's an exact 30 mils every pour. You can see where I'm going here. What we're going to be doing today is making up stock solutions of hydroponic nutrients that give you an exact dose of the nutrient for a specific amount of nutrient solution. So I've just filled this bottle up um, with some water and I'll show you how these work. It's as simple as turning the bottle upside down and it will pour exactly 30 mils. I'm gonna mix up three different types of nutrients. All three nutrients are on the Hydroland website. The nutrients are Campbell's Diamond Spec Tea, which you'll most likely be familiar with. That is a tomato and fruiting plant nutrient. I'm also going to be mixing up two nutrients that are new to Hydroland, Diamond White, which is an all-rounder. So if you're buying nutrient for the first time, I'd recommend Diamond White if you just want an all-purpose solution. And there is now also Diamond Blue. The Diamond Blue is a propagation and leafy greens. So if you wanted to specifically tailor your nutrient solution to specific stages or plant types, you now can do that with the Diamond Range. These are all available in one kilo lots but if you've got you know 25 kilos 25,000 liters worth of diamond tea it's absolutely fine to use that in the way that we've been using it all these years in my last video we dissolved one kilo of nutrient into four liters of water we actually started with one kilo of nutrient and added water until we had four liters so we're going to try and make it a bit stronger this time now the reason for that is at four mils per litre, it doesn't divide very nicely into 30. So if we get it down to three mils per litre, each shot from these shot pourers will be enough nutrient for 10 litres of water. That's gonna be important later. It also is just a really nice round number. If you're doing a 100 litre res, you do one, two, up to 10. Easy, right? We're also going to be making up a calcium nitrate part B, which will service all three of these nutrients. So a really good way of purchasing these nutrients is to buy a large bag of the part B, the calcium nitrate, and then purchase smaller quantities of each nutrient in kilo lots. That covers your part B in bulk, and you also get to specialize your nutrients. All right, let's make these nutrient solutions up. So the numbers are really simple. To each of these litre bottles, we're adding in 333 grams of whichever nutrient. 333 grams of diamond blue, spec T, diamond white, or the calcium nitrate. That is gonna give us the exact quantity that we need because it's one gram per litre. And if we divide a litre by 30 mils, that divides down perfectly into our shot quantities for 10 litres. So, the diamond blue, <laughs> 330, that'll do. <laughs> I can't fit anything more in it. That's cool. 
Have a go at the color in that. I really should have done this with hot water. That would have made it dissolve a lot better, I think. This is the spec T. Okay, I'm actually gonna use hot water for this one. Yeah, it's dissolving way better with the, um, the hot water. And this one is the diamond white. And just for reference, they'll rock up in bags that look like this. So you can just add them into whatever containers you like. I like these two-way containers because you can have um, the same amount of calcium nitrate as you do the other nutrient. So you can just take it wherever and scoop it into whatever in a nice, nicely contained way. I got these on Timu. Diamond white. Now I will add a small disclaimer here. This may not work for you at this low of a concentration purely because my tank water is tank water. It has an unmeasurably low part per million count or EC. Um, so if you've got hard water, there is more space in the water taken up by other salts. So the ability to dissolve is diminished because there's already salt in it. Now don't stress if that's the case, just lower the amount and you may need to do like two shots to get the same amount as what I'm able to get with this. Just adjust your recipe and go from there. And last but not least is calcium nitrate. The same as calcium nitrate. And here's a little bonus segment for you. We're going to be making up a pH adjuster that is specifically tailored to the dosage of this 30 mil pourer. Um, so to do that, this is actually gonna rely on you doing your own math here, unfortunately, uh, purely because you'll need to adjust your pH up or down a certain amount, depending on your water. So you would dilute this phosphoric acid, which is available from Hydroland, or this potassium carbonate, which is available from Hydroland, in a powder and a high strength acid liquid. And we're going to water it down into a pourer bottle so that it pours the exact amount that you need to raise or lower your pH before you add in your nutrient solution for 10 liters. And that way you just add a nip for every 10 liters and your pH becomes standardized across the board. There's no thinking about how much you need for a certain amount. The way that I'm going to calculate mine is I know that I need 10 grams per thousand liters, which is about a gram every hundred liters which is you know, a 10th of a gram for 10 liters. So what I need to figure out is how many shots are in a bottle. There's 33 shots in a bottle. 1,000 divided by 30 is 33. That means that we need each one of those 33 shots to contain 0.1 of a gram. So I need 10 grams for 1,000 liters. So for 10 liters, we move the decimal point. Yeah, I need 0.1 of a gram. So if we go 0.1 times 33, I need 3.3 grams of potassium carbonate in this bottle. I might need smaller scales. Okay, so 3.3 grams is like, not much. That much. And that can just, and that is my pH up. <laughs> and you can make that pH up at any strength. You can, cause it's so, concentrated you could make that one nip for like a thousand liters you just up the concentration to whatever you want because that will dissolve so well in water and it sure beats the hell out of paying 15 bucks a pot for this okay so we've got all of our mixes mixed up um, if there's a little bit left at the bottom don't particularly worry about that because um, that will dissolve over time later hooch here give it 24 hours all of my nutrients except for the diamond blue dissolve within 24 hours. The diamond blue took a little bit longer at about 48 hours. We are completely dissolved. But Hooch, I hear you say, why were you so excited? This is just stock solution. Yes, it's annoying to make up a nutrient solution, but it's not that annoying. This is a nine liter watering can full of water. I love using these to walk my nutrient around and water some of my plants that aren't on automated systems. 
even to top feed in some of the cocoa. I wash it with water sometimes and then I want to recharge it. I love using these and I usually dunk them into my IBC because it's easier than making up small batches of hydroponic nutrient. But now, watch this. Now, I have worked in bars before and I know that these things aren't always 100% correct. Um, so until you know that it's 100% correct, I do recommend measuring it, but it's not that hard. It's just as easy. So all we need to do to create 10 liters of nutrient in a watering can is add in our pH up, give her a stir, also available on Hydro Land. Add in our calcium nitrate. Give it a stir and then add in whatever nutrient is appropriate for the plants you're feeding. So in this case, it's diamond white for me. And we can check how we've done. The pH is 5.6, which is perfect. The EC is 2.6. So that's perfect. And that, that was hassle free. How good. So it's been about a week since I've filmed the first part of the video and I've been using this system to dose my nutrients and adjust my pH. And I've found that the most useful application for this, for me, is as a pH adjuster, especially in the scenario that I'm having behind me with the modular hydroponic system. So I haven't done a video on this system yet, but it is a modular 3D printable hydroponic system and you can see that some of the leaves on the pak choy, on the joy choy that I've got in this system, are yellowing. It's the newer true leaves. And this is actually because of the grow media that I've used in this system. I've never actually used it before. In, in each of these sections, I needed to slow the water down as it fell. Now, I don't want to give too much of the design away before I release it, but I'm going to go and do that anyway. In each of the sections, I've actually got sphagnum moss and this sphagnum moss is allowing me to slow the flow of nutrient as it falls and it also allows the cotton wool method that I'm keeping these seedlings in uh, to remain moist as the system is continually turning over. Having never played with sphagnum moss before, I wasn't aware that it would cause my pH to drop. So I've been having to adjust the pH solution in my reservoir. So at this point in time, the pH is 5.4. Now that's okay, uh, it's slightly lower than I'd like, but I've been adjusting this every second day up and the way that I've been doing that is I've just been coming along and dosing the reservoir with 30 mils of my pH up. And because it's actually quite dilute, it's not really causing any precipitation. You could just dose that into a larger amount of water and then drop it in, and that would be absolutely fine. But with this technique, it's made my pH management so much more efficient. So now my nutrient is at a more respectable 5.6 to 5.7. Now this isn't something that I'd usually have to do because most of the grow media that I'm using in the systems that I've got set up doesn't affect the pH in the way that I think the sphagnum moss is in this system, which is something we will address in this system's video. We might look at using something more inert. This is just part of the prototyping process. And I'm just hoping that after a certain amount of time, the sphagnum moss will stop affecting the pH as the system reaches some kind of equilibrium. But that's just an example of how useful this technique is. And I'm actually stoked with how the practical application of this method has streamlined my workflow even in the last week. So I'm very excited to share this method with you. And I hope you enjoyed this episode of Who Chose? Happy hydroponicking, and I will see you next time on Who Chose. Right, let's plug this system back in and off she goes.